Welcome back, ladies and lords. Thank you so much for joining. If you're new, welcome to Huzzah. My name is Wispy, and I'm your host. And also, thank you so much for joining. I hope that you stick around. I hope you like what I'm putting down, man. I don't think I'll get any gameplay videos out this weekend, but we were graced with a warrior's den this week. So, content shall ensue. The uh, new Year 6 Season 2 character has been revealed, the Magi, and with such, we've got the uh, Magi gameplay segment to check out and a little bit of Magi fashion that I also wanted to check out with you guys. So, I mean, I guess I'll stop talking about it. Let's just let's just check it out. He uh, looks cool, he man. This is a big the, hulking uh, dude. It's exactly is he gonna be a? Uh, so you're going into. Is he gonna be a heavy, heavy light, or a heavy light, heavy light? As long as you're alternating, Vanguard. Uh, you're going to get the chain going. As long as you have stamina, uh, your chain lights oh, are big, dude. enhanced, so you can keep going all the time. And Lights are press, enhanced. Uh, light twice, for example, you're gonna get into. He's just swinging for days. Light. If you get heavy twice, okay. Go into your heavy light, heavy, heavy, and that's the end of your chain. All so, day. That's out of the way. Um, as Perfect. you can see. Sorry, can you throw a few more lights uh, and heavies just so we can get all the damage values for those uh, yeah. recording along at home? Yes. <laughs> Is that a 27? There you go. <laughs> that's a 27 <laughs> damage um, starter and, uh, heavy. Yeah, as you can see. Everything is on interruptible stance as soon as 32 you get damage chain, top heavy uh, chain. The fact that he has uh, that's pretty uh, that's gigantic staff and holding he must be like a heavy, huh? Board, um, means that he has really imposing arcs and it's big chunky uh, chunk damage. This is kind of telling you that this is a hero that's going to be comfortable in group fights when he's in staff mode. Uh, let's get through the staff rest of the mode. Real quick. Sure. So you have uh, side dodge heavies, classic. He's going to uh, have different stances. Dodge those pesky Black Briar bashes and uh, shoulder bashes. Dodge forward heavy, which, uh, if I can show it off here, does what it should do, which is oh, that goes gap, far. prevent someone from rolling out, uh, initiate combat. There's no armor on it, though, right? Uh, we have oh, okay. No, he does have armor on everything. So once he gets in the chain, he has armor on everything? Uh, we have the zone, which... Oh, as that you can zone see, goes nowhere. Forward range. But that's on purpose because usually you want to kind of target the guy in front of you and hit the guy that's behind you. If it would go forward a lot, mm -hmm. you would miss those external hits. Oh, so, so we're literally making 4v4 have, characters. Uh, that is like a, this zone is not meant to hit whoever you're uh, looking at. Next, we have the big payoff uh, bind move, mm -hmm. which is the dodge forward guard break. Whoa, that's slow. There you go. That's slow uh, as kind hell. Kind of like a demon embrace. It deals immediate damage and it chains uh, into your chain lights, your chain heavies. Uh, all that good stuff, and that is you slow can as hell. perform it after any light Oh, chain. okay. Uh, so you can target swap and hit someone uh, in a group fight surprise, uh, and you'll understand uh, like why we're doing this a bit later when we get into the axis mode. You'll see. Yes. Um, I think that covers... Oh, yeah, I guess we got the guard break. Uh, guard break punish, kind of uh, not uh, the usual one. So you'll have a top... Guard break punish for this hero. Remember, okay. if Warlord. you're playing Warlord, you, yeah, know yeah. That you have to go top Warlord. to get that guaranteed heavy. Uh, with Magi, don't do side or you'll Or Jeng, Jeng no, Jun has back. a top heavy as well, um, I think. Otherwise, uh, I think we're ready to So go. once again, uh, I think so. Let's big chunky chunk damage, boy. A little bit. Mm -hmm. So if you're in uh, staff mode, you've got big trajectories, you've got uninterruptible stance, uh, and you've got a really good gank melee move that lets you do uh, direct damage and so on. So it's kind of speaking to you as like, if you're in a group fight, this is your group fight uh, mode With that you want to be in. as well, I guess. Oh, that's, that's right. He has two different modes. So this is literally like, like, if you're in 4v4, you want to yeah. fight with this. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's opinion. Yeah, if you're in 1v1. Uh, so that's basically, we've seen one mode. Uh, Switch it up. Use it for. Uh, so now the question is, what's the second mode? All right. Go? So, yeah. I mean, uh, we're, we're going to talk about the mode switch a bit, I guess. Uh, so mm. walk back and guard break is oh, your mode switch wow. uh, special move. So you're going to take oh. some time to switch between modes. You I like that. While you're doing I like that way better so than holding a button. Your pants down, uh, That's a good switch. In the of a fight. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have ways it's an install. I like that. So for example, you want to be in access mode uh, coming into a fight. Yeah, this is a duel. I'm like, I don't want to be in staff mode. It's pretty. You can that's pretty quick, actually. Can you do it mid-combo? Because that would be dope. Transform, we call. 
Uh, same thing for every recovery that the character has. Can what was that? 23 canceled. damage. All right, so damage is a little, so you can a little lower. You want, uh, as fast as possible, and we even have it on a parry cancel. So parry cancel throw a heavy into switch for what? Re oh, to get more damage and still get your guaranteed damage but, that you would have had from like the okay. heavy. Okay. So not only like, you can still get a heavy off of a light parry. The mode like that, but you can really like. Do like a follow up, like attack, axe, quick stand. Like, yep, it's, cool. Oh, it's cool. Oh, to like, optimize yeah. with this character yeah. is gonna be yeah. crazy. Sure it's super cool to see. I love optimal uh, play with this character yeah, is gonna look nutty, parry, especially because that's a time a lot of times you're like, oh, I thought it was a duel, but now it's a group fight. Mm -hmm. So I got a parry off at some point, and I can transform into the mode I want, mm -hmm. or vice versa. Yeah. And while you're in axe, uh, Ben, remember so can, when oh, you did like goodness. a hit reaction in axe? That was a big challenge that we Wait, wait, wait. So are the combos the same the in axe mode and, uh, where it's like heavy light, heavy light, heavy light, light? Or can you now throw uh, light really light? Like, uh, magic, programmer magic. They didn't, did they say? Happen, so I don't know if you can show like uh, when you get it into axe. So do it. There Let's you go. go. So yeah, I mean, this hero has been a long time coming. What is like, she talking about? Uh, ben, remember when we did like a hit reaction in axe? <laughs> That was a big challenge that we had because it was always going back into a staff. Oh. And uh, thank you to she does animations. the DPP team to, to help un helping us uh, creating like uh, magic, programmer magic <laughs> to make it yeah, happen. Yeah, she's talking so about programmer magic. Show, like, uh, when you get it into Axe, so. Do it. Oh, uh, okay, go. okay. So, yeah, I mean, this hero has been a long Yeah, so time when he was getting hit, he was going back into yeah, can, staff can, can mode. Can you see some execution as well? Uh, I mean, we're going to get through the axes mode stuff first. Oh, okay, yes. I'm, I'm just she said, let's Calm check down. out the right, execution, so, bro. <laughs> I mean, she's the animator girl, so of course like, she forward thinking. She's she like, let's, let's keep this All moving. Right, so, uh, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> in axes mode, uh, he, is, he has move parity. That's what we call it. I don't know if we made that up. But it means <laughs> that whatever you're pressing in one mode, uh, it's going to do something in the other mode. So if I go Wait. dodge forward uh, heavy in access mode, there's something How there. How far if does I that do go, though? Side dodge heavy in access mode, there's something there. If I do zone, obviously, there's a zone. If oh, I do, way quicker zone. Um, the dodge forward uh, guard break, instead of being a big bind oh. move, it's a super quick, unreactable bash. Unreactable? Uh, that this time guarantees a light and, of course, goes into itself. Oh. For as long as I have stamina. Oh, that uh, looks and fast, you dude. have the heavy finishers that instead of having an initiable sense, have um, some. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of. Um, to really force a reaction out maybe of it's the Egyptian opponent. theme so, so and the two the different stances, like but it reminds me of Eliza from Skullgirls. Mm -hmm. So, using the same inputs that you've seen there. You can do the same character uh, kind of flow mm -hmm. in the axe mode, and you get moves basically. So yeah, they have different properties and different use cases, but uh, uh, basically looks uh, cool. Yeah, there yeah. you go. So it seems like, pretty basic, is, other than the fact that he has two modes, sets, I guess. But mm -hmm. since you know, once you know what to what to press in one, you'll know what to press in the other one, and then it's just a matter of having like properties. For example, 400 ms <laughs> chain lights uh, and, the, uh, and the unblockable heavy finishers uh so i think that gets us to the executions right oh okay oh i got this guy oh that's sick so, <laughs> so we have so much fun the mocap it breaks like, in half like, and he oh attach, attach, he attach, puts attach, it back attach, together to, that's pretty it. clean and uh, yeah this character is if fancy you in access mode you will be reverting to staff mode uh, if you start uh, an uh, the execution, execution. The execution uh, and if you okay, that's cool. Block, same thing We're not here. even talking about the so, move. Is uh, that really just yeah, that's, that's the move set? That's pretty basic. Uh, depends what you're used to, basically. Like if you. Ooh. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. This seems like a pretty straightforward character. Doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of like crazy shit coming at you, other than the fact that literally has armor on everything and bash out of light that if he's in staff mode he doesn't look too scary to be honest i feel like axe mode is where this character looks kind of nutty because that bash is coming kind of quick just think i'll have to i'll have to get my hands on him just to see like how quickly you can switch in between the two modes while in combo Especially for mix, like that just seems really good for mix. And what happens if you're like switching and you get hit? Interested, but anyway. All right. Uh, yeah. Now let's move over to the 
fashion design for the Magi. I, I guess we'll start off with the weapons and I'll, I'll just talk about my opinion. Not that it really matters, but since I, <laughs> since I mainly make fashion videos now for this game, I figure maybe, maybe my input matters to someone out uh, there. So here we can see the evolution maybe not. Who of knows? The, but this weapon, uh, we're starting with. Um, Original Magi weapon. So this is literally like starting from starter weapon all the way out to uh, rep eight and while uh, we move and beyond. We see that the shape is uh, getting more and more. They look pretty dope. We see more interesting patterns and. Uh, I like this one with the with the uh, rags in the middle, the wraps. Features. That's pretty and cool. Ooh. Weapons, that gold, white, and blue. Uh, here, the, the theme of My the goodness. Weapons, they just uh, seem like they had a great time making this character, dude. Some, uh, to be honest. Moments, uh, like, they seemed excited about Pirate, but this one, it just seems like they went above and beyond. Like, they spent and way more time baking this character sense. and researching yeah, for this character. It seems like that's what it, that's how it comes across to me. Okay. We've got uh, Prince of Egypt and, player, and Egyptian player, warrior. In different ways because the one this one the other definitely looks like some Prince of Egypt vibes. Fantastic fashion that they have it, and of course as we. Oh look at the oh, oh. look at the legs on this one, dude. The stripes on the shin guards. That is clean. Oh, dude. Oh, this is giving me Osiris vibes. Oh, the wraps. The wraps. This is already my favorite. This might be my favorite set in the whole game. Just looking at this. Whatever that material is. Like, I don't know if they have a material color on it right now. But... If this is just how it comes, dude, I'm not putting a material color on that. That is perfect. That looks so good. Oh, now we're into... Okay, so maybe that one is Osiris inspired. Because it looks a lot... Like, even the coloring. The fact that it's a mummy, too. We got Anubis. Another thing that's fun too about the weapons, so at once, one, uh, something that we're doing. This so, do we just have the two the like body website. types, where it's like uh, the ab master the or website. this one that comes uh, up to the nips? We'll have a list of all the weapon names and as well as the lore description, so people will get to know why they're called what they're called. It gives a bit of context uh, to the weapons and give them a bit of history as well. I, I love more lore attached to a weapon because I feel like you. When you choose it, it's not only visual, it's like the backstory, so you're like more into it because you choose a weapon for this reason, so... Do you exactly. This one must be yeah, raw, look at the red on the, uh, on the arm. The oh, I it's hope, I hope. Oh, this one, this the uh, arms on this like one, the tattoos, the paint, of, of, of whatever that is, that looks amazing, dude. Execute that looks so fast. good. The fashion on this character alone is going to make me play this character. Look at this fashion. And I hope that the ornament isn't on the arm. I am so sick of putting ornaments on biceps, dude. Can we get head ornaments again? I would love a head ornament on this guy. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited for the fashion for this one. The gameplay, the gameplay, sure. The fashion, that gives me a reason to play this game. <laughs> Definitely gives me a reason to play this game. I love it. Like, they do not drop the ball, ever. Honestly, this this uh, Osiris one, I wish I wish the Raider like the Raider skin should have been something more like this in my opinion. That's just my opinion. It would have been way cooler if if he was full on in wraps. If he was straight up covered in wraps, just wrapped up, that would have been dope in my opinion. That would have been so clean. And still have he could still have the glowy arms somehow and that's gonna do it for this one ladies and lords thank you so much for joining i hope you enjoyed if you like this video feel free to leave a like if you want to see more videos by me and you haven't already consider subscribing i have a ton of for honor content on my channel with that said i really hope you guys are staying safe i hope you're staying healthy hydrated and motivated and you know where to find me i'll be here and i'll be doing this